Hello. Okay. Into another time. Hmm. Let me edit this on the fly. We are going through the depth of an old world, the so-called rules-based order, that Western hegemonic neocolonial project. Germany is basically shooting itself in the foot, financially speaking with its proposed decision to confiscate uh, the income from frozen Russian assets. Frozen. There is a telegram post. This is the dying process. What we're witnessing here is the dying process. Things are going to get ugly. People in power, especially these people, the Western elites, don't want to let go peace, uh, don't want to let go gracefully. They are so immature emotionally and psychologically immature. Well, their world is dying and their grip on power is ebbing away. Hopefully, there is no major global war, which may possibly be nuclear, through this process, as we move through this process. Uh, hopefully, we move to the other side without blowing ourselves up. Iran, uh, speaking of uh, death pang, pang, no, this is the uh, cabal flailing about. Iran said BRICS, BRICS wants to implement a currency independent of the U.S. hegemonic dollar. Shortly thereafter, or around this time, the Iranian president and foreign minister were killed in a helicopter crash. Was it a crash? Now, I'm not saying I have any evidence, but this, but was this, but I pose the question, but was this the work of the cabal? Is the cabal trying to send a message to any countries in the global south or the global majority? that if they adopt the BRICS currency, they too would become targets in this very surreptitious way. Cannot be ruled out. Uh, yeah. Again, um, I don't have any evidence to prove this was a deliberate act. But given the shooting of uh, Fico, the Slovakian prime minister, the attempt, the attempted coup in Tur Turkey, Turkey, and yeah, anyway, and even the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the rumored assassination attempt on MBS, you know, Prince of. Uh, Saudi Arabia. All of this sounds like desperation. The cabal trying to hold on to its hegemonic power and flailing about, flailing about as it's desperately trying to reassert its supremacy and hegemony. There's a quote relevant to the post. Regarding the Iranian president's death, and the possible cabal involvement in recent coup attempts. Here is a post on that. Another question. Was the Iranian president's helicopter... Oh. 
was the Iranian president helicopter's GPS jammed? There's a poster inquiring about that. I think it's probably foul play. That's my assumption here. They may have used a fog machine. They have the means to manipulate whether apparently the sky was sunnier earlier in the day and jammed the GPS to cause the accident. This is, this is my speculation on this. This is my speculation on this event. Uh, here is more speculative evidence of crash being intentional. Yeah, this is very interesting. You know, apparently the weather was good when they took off, but half an hour later or 45 minutes, this became very bad. And, you know, there were three helicopters, only the one the helicopter with the president and the foreign minister went down, but the other two went, uh, did it, nothing happened to them. Was it like a uh, Tesla death ray? You know, was it a UFO? You know, they might have these technologies. This is how they can, you know, if, if, if people don't know you have the a technology, I mean, like the MH370 orb weapon or UFO technology, and if they don't know about the technology, you can do things like this and you can get away with it. But I think the Russians and the Chinese, I think they, they have a, they might know something. And so why did they do it? It was to send possible reason. One of the possible reason is that they, it was to send a message, especially to those in the global south, a global majority. If we join the BRICS currency, uh, some unfortunate accidents may await you as well. Do other countries like Turkey uh, know what actually happened? Uh, all of this terrorist bullying tactics should only make people more bold and defiant to stand up against the cabal. I don't think the Biden admin is in control of the shadow government which has its own military capabilities. There is a rogue element here. The cabal works for the international financier criminal villains. Uh, criminal villain class. <laughs> Bastards. Here is a statement. This is just my own uh, opinion, uh, judgment. I don't have the evidence to prove it was deliberate, but I'm, I'm speculating. Here is a statement about the shadow government, but this is in the context of the Iran Contra affair. But I think it's still applicable today. An example of Western white supremacy here, the ICC prosecutor, international criminal prosecutor says in relation to the arrest warrant issued against Israel Israeli Israeli leaders that he was told the ICC is quote built for Africa and for thugs like Putin. Racism in Western hegemony exemplified. Yes, the, remember all of those African leaders in the in the Hague, you know, but they, they accused of war crimes and, and all that. Anyway, Russia, China, and Iran are bringing forward the new world, and there's a post talking about it and how they're going to stick together. I think that's the post. It should be pointed out, uh, NATO are not the good guys. They may, they may like to fashion themselves defenders of freedom, democracy, and human rights, but they are just the military enforcement arm of the Western neo-colonial world domination project. The Western elites. The, the West wants control of the planet power uh, and its resources and its resources it's about power it's about power i know this is a cynical view but i think this is what's happening they want to institute a one world government in effect totalitarian rule 1984 if this were to happen, you will become a prisoner in this world. You are already one, but you just don't know it yet. But if the one world government gets instituted, it but it'll become more apparent if the system gets instituted. They will hunt you for sport. 
I haven't seen Hunger Games, but I'm suspecting that's what it's going to be like. Hunger Games, you know, if there is a nuclear war and Armageddon, I mean, even <laughs> even without a nuclear, if the if the one world government is instituted, you know, they're going to take away all of your so-called rights which you really don't have. And there will be no Russia, or if the system gets instituted, they will hunt you for sport, and there will be no Russia or China uh, to challenge them to keep a check on their power if the, if the West gets its way. Yes. And when I mean by the West, it's the leaders, and but the, the population is brainwashed and kind of like, you know, indifferent, because, oh, look, it's happening there in faraway countries we are safe we're doing okay so who cares what happens to them if they if they de if they destroy russia and china then there's no then, then what do you think they're gonna do do you think they're gonna stop there <laughs> people who have that mindset of power and control they will come for you and your rights in your you know maybe not you maybe not your ch children but think two three generations down the line Yes, there's always going to be a conflict. I, in my opinion, having a multipolar world where there's a balance of power by different countries, different peoples, different ways of living. The whole world doesn't have to be some liberal democracy thing. We, people are different. We can respect difference and learn to live in peace but you know these people these warmongers they want to make money because war is you know profitable and uh, people are just playing right into their hands and this is how terrible things are and you know I'll let go nuclear it's a possibility it's a real possibility but i hope it doesn't happen i hope we transition to this new world i hope I don't know, maybe the new world might, might not even happen. Maybe they'll we'll blow each instead of transitioning to a multipolar world. We may just blow each other up. Who knows? And I think the, the leaders in the West aren't really on the ball. I think I think they 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 are um, they are they are they're being manipulated by uh, their intelligence agencies and they at least they're being manipulated, but they're also like so full of themselves, like we're the greatest, uh, you know, the exceptional, we're the best, and hubris, arrogance. Mm -mm. This is a very bad, bad situation. Exile, serious.